guys and welcome back to my channel C Panda Crafts. I'm back with another huge Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Wendy. Before I get into the haul, I just wanted to say a few things for the new people here if this is your first time watching. I visit the Dollar Tree a few times a week and then I like to do one big haul either once a week or every couple of weeks and I just wanted to say I haul everything at the Dollar Tree. I don't just haul craft items or craft related and home decor items even though that's the main focus of my channel. I have been shopping at the Dollar Tree since I was very young. I had my first job at 15 as a teenager. I have been shopping there and spending my entire paycheck there. So I haul everything from home decor to craft related items. I haul food, home supplies, like cleaning supplies and things like that. And I'm now 32, so if that tells you how long I have been a Dollar Tree fanatic. So anyways, I just wanted to go ahead and touch base on that for the new people or the people that were wondering why I haul all these things. I'm gonna go ahead and start out with my favorite finds of this week, and that has to be this iridescent collection of party supplies, party serving utensils and things like that. I was stunned and shocked to see this. I, oh my gosh, you guys, it's so beautiful. This to me screams mermaid party or pool party. I don't even have a pool, but it's beautiful. And I found this large scalloped bowl so you could put chips in here what have you or and then I found the two pack of larger or medium sized bowls so I don't know maybe put fruits in here and then I found this eight pack of little serving bowls so maybe you know you have your larger thing of chips or Chex Mix, whatever, and then you can have these for your guests to scoop. And then I found this eight pack of tumblers. What are these? Yeah, tumblers for drinks. And these are just absolutely gorgeous, you guys. And then you have this little, and Dollar Tree puts these out all the time, but how or just I just can't get over it I'm so excited about it so maybe you could put like little dips and things like that in here like a little trio of dips and I love entertaining especially during the summer and hosting backyard barbecues I love decorating and doing themes for parties and barbecues and then I found even like little wine cups right there they also had the plastic iridescent um, cutlery. So you get 12 in there and then the serving tray. So I did not find all of these during one trip. I actually went to two different Dollar Trees um, for these things. And let me know if you guys find more to this collection because I will definitely be purchasing the rest of it. Also in the party section, I found these inflatable balloons. So you have the unicorn and then this rainbow with the clouds and then the mermaid tail. And they do come with a straw so you can blow it up. I'm not sure if it's going to pick up on camera. They also had a dinosaur which I can appreciate because I feel like especially with the party decor and things like that it's mostly catered towards like girly things and so I didn't pick up the dinosaur because my my son is older he's not into that but these would definitely be perfect if you're throwing a party and want to make centerpieces on the tables these would be great for that also for when you're building a gift to take to a child's birthday party you can kind of include a balloon this bag is hilarious you guys roses are red wine is also red poetry is hard 
wine. This is the best wine bag I have seen Dollar Tree put out. It is hilarious. And it's really funny because a week ago my husband was writing a, a paper and it was, he had to write a poem for school and he was telling me how hard it was because poetry is just not his thing. So I thought this was hilarious. I love hauling Dollar Tree's bags. They are getting better and better and you always need these in your stock or your supply because I don't know how many times it happens to you but I'll get invited to a party or something and last minute and I'm always struggling to find a hostess gift or a gift for an adult and I'm like everybody likes wine I'll just grab a bag of wine but these are great to have on hand and I actually have a large tote full of bags and party supplies and things like that that I can just go and grab and put together a gift for someone. I have tissue paper, all of that stuff in there. So I was definitely happy about that. All right, so now on to some garden items. I got this spray nozzle. I have a garden hose on my patio that doesn't have a nozzle. I've never tried Dollar Tree's nozzles before. But this has seven different patterns, like a, I guess your typical garden nozzle. So I'll let you guys know how it works out. Some of them on the handles, when I was noticing um, in the store, they weren't as tight. When you pulled them, they were kind of loose. So I picked up that. I found this jumbo garden bag, which was really neat. I've never seen Dollar Tree put this out before during the spring when they have all their garden stuff out. And I thought this would be perfect to, um, when I'm pulling weeds to kind of just pull around the yard with me instead of trying to haul my huge green waste barrel around. So I got that. This says it opens up to, I don't know if it opens up to, it says 30 by 24 inches, 30.3 by 24.8 inches. And then it says approx. So approximately. So I got that. And then I picked up three of these little metal, I guess, yard decor flowers. So this one says welcome on it. And then I got these two without the welcome sign just to show you the different colors that they had available. And when I saw these, I definitely thought spray paint these, make some cute maybe front porch decor with these. So I think that's what I'm going to do with these. And I will be putting out a video decorating my front porch and maybe some Dollar Tree DIYs for that. I did put out 12 Dollar Tree spring and Easter DIYs a few days ago, not last week, a few days ago. If you guys are interested in seeing that or if you missed that, I will go ahead and leave a little card for you guys and a link down in the description. I picked up some planters for those front porch DIYs. I've never seen Dollar Tree put out this one before where it kind of looks like a faux wooden barrel. So I got that one and then I got two of these square planters. And then this tan one. And then I got two of the little terracotta pots. They also sell these in the like little three packs. They're a little smaller than this, but I went ahead and picked up more of these because I actually did film a DIY, a cute little topiary, and I lost the footage. I don't know what happened, but I need to refilm that. So that's what I picked up those for. And also in the garden section, I picked up this plant hanger. And it looks like it's three chains, so you just hook it onto your planter and hang it on a fence or in your garden. Also, lots of DIY potential there. All right, now on to some Easter items. I will be doing a Easter haul or an Easter basket fillers haul in a separate video. I kind of wanted that to be just one dedicated video, but I wanted to show you guys the things that I picked up for DIYs that I'm thinking for my front yard and my front porch. So I got this cute little guy and he's just a little serving, maybe like a 
You can use this as a serving dish, but he goes together. And they also had a few different colors available for him as well. I think they had pink and purple. So I got that. And I got these three jumbo egg containers. So I got green, pink, and purple. And one side is clear, and then the other side is the, the color. But I thought, when I saw these, I thought of possibly gluing them together spray painting them and then maybe putting them on a little garden stake to put in my yard or I think somehow I want to try to attach a solar light to this I don't know so stay tuned for that if it makes the cut I will post a video of it and then I got three of the little golden eggs and by size comparison to those larger eggs this is the difference all right, so now on to some crafting supplies. I picked up four of these bamboo cutting boards. These are going to be perfect for farmhouse DIYs. And I remember they, they had them out and then they took them away and now they're back again. So snag these if you see them. I got some more of this burlap ribbon. I hauled the white polka dot one a couple weeks ago, but I used it all up in those spring DIY so I went ahead and got more of that and then I didn't see I don't think I got the black the black polka dot one so I went ahead and picked that up and I never thought I would see the day where I ran out of jute twine I bought a huge roll of it at Walmart because it was a great value and I ran out recently so I went ahead and restocked and you can find this I find it in the auto section which is kind of odd like the auto and home improvement section um, so if you don't see it in like your crafting section check the automotive hardware section spring cleaning and organizing is coming and I found these gorgeous what are these like baskets baskets with handles I don't know what else you would call this but I love these you guys they even had a navy blue color but I loved the gray and I've seen people on Instagram make really cute DIYs out of these but when I saw this I thought of just like home organization craft organization I have been trying to find a way to organize my stickers. I've been using binders and they're just not working. I have way too many. So I was thinking of maybe using these and for my sticker storage and possibly putting like the categories on here with a little label or something. And I don't know. So what are your guys' ideas for this? I, I wanna know because that's all I can really think of. Maybe in a pantry you could use this. But anyways, I got three of these. I don't know what happened to the other one. All right, so now getting into the stationery stickers, my favorite part of Dollar Tree, all of that good stuff. I found these planner stickers and I've hauled one before, but they so look like the Happy Planner sticker packs that you get like from Michaels. These are so fun. This one has like an animal theme, animal astronaut theme, and look at all of the stickers that you get in each pack. So it looks like six sheets, and you get all of these in there. And then this one is a llama theme, drama llama, and here are the stickers you get with that. So I thought these were so awesome for a dollar. I also hauled these pineapple stickers. This is by the brand Crown Jewels. And they're like this, not foam. They're more of like a puffy sticker. So that was super cute. I found a new wall decal sticker set and I love this, the camera. This looks kind of like the Instagram camera, or no, this one looks like the Instagram, I don't know. I thought, no, this is the shape of the Instagram camera. But I picked this up for my sister, she's a photographer, 
and I thought this would be cute to give to her in like a little care package maybe for her birthday that's coming up next month. I haul all of the stickers if you can't tell up here I have like a, a stack but then I also got another poster letter set. These are awesome for DIYs. And then I found these wall tiles by that same company that makes the wall decals, Main Street, Main Street Wall Creations. And I thought these were beautiful. So in the picture, you can kind of see they're kind of using it as a backsplash, maybe for a kitchen or something. And I'm actually part of a Facebook group and a couple of people have used the Dollar Tree wall tiles or wall back, like faux wall backsplash, and they actually turn out re looking really nice. So I plan on using these for DIYs. I thought they were beautiful. So I picked up two of each. I got some new pens. These are the Cello Super Glide Fashion Pens, and it looks like you get magenta purple and like a light blue. I've never seen them at the Dollar Tree before. And you guys, I can spend 15 minutes in the pen section. I don't know what it is, but I love just looking at all of the different pens. So I got that. I got this new pineapple notebook. I love the little gold foiling in between the leaves. And this is like a, it feels like it's like a faux leather material, which I've never seen Dollar Tree do before. So I picked up that. All right, so now on to the novelty impulse buy cute items. I found some of these like on a, on a clip strip in the front of the store by the registers and some. I know some Dollar Trees have like their own section of novelty cute items or like a display, but I found these adorable makeup brush cleaners. And they even come with the little suction cups to stick in so you can clean your brushes. So I got these two. I got two of these beautiful word search books and they are pretty thick. And here is how big the print is. I love word searches. I love crosswords more though, but I figured this would be really good for me to put maybe in my nightstand at night to kind of just use to maybe get off using my phone or looking, you know, at a screen all day and just to de-stress from the day and kind of relax. This would also make a great like gift edition as kind of like a bonus gift. All right, so now on to the ridiculous item that I didn't need, but something just compelled me to get it. This cat nail file. <laughs> I don't even have a cat. I just saw it and thought it was hilarious and I needed to put it in my cart and I did. So I think I'm probably just going to give this as a gag gift, like an addition to a gift for a friend that has a cat. Dollar Tree puts out these key covers all the time. I've never seen the cupcakes. So I thought I would go ahead and grab those. I love Dollar Tree's wall canvases. I collect them. I have an entire collection and I like to change them out during the seasons. But I found these really cute ones for my daughter's room. She has this mermaid theme in her room. She has a lot of mermaid things, but then she also has a couple of unicorn things. So how gorgeous is this little prancing proud unicorn on this rainbow? And I love how they muted the rainbow and not and didn't make it too bright because I think that would have contrasted with what they were going. I think they nailed it. So I love that. And then I got this one that says mermaids have more fun. And they also had one with this collection that said like, I think mermaids do it better or something, which I thought was kind of, I don't know, it was kind of tacky for my daughter's room. So I just got this one. Adorable. If you saw my last Dollar Tree haul, I hauled a ton of men's like fun socks, but I didn't see this one. And that is these sush socks. I, I call sushi sush. My sister and I have like this joke about sushi, but I love these so much. They're so funny. 
This looks like a California roll, which is my favorite. And it's funny because I don't like seafood, but I like some sushi. And I know some people will be like, well, California is not a California roll is not real sushi, but I do like some like yellowtail rolls and um, different kinds of sushi. I know it's weird. I like, I don't like seafood, but I like some raw seafood. So I got those super cute. They're the only men's socks fit my feet. The women's crew socks do not. And they had a ton of cute new girl socks. I got a ton of them for my daughter. Her feet just grows like crazy. And so there's two different brands here. You have the Greenbrier brand, which comes with three. So you have the mermaid and then just a pair of plain and then the pattern sock. And then the other brand is called Essie. And these only come with two. The quality feels about the same. So this one has a cute chihuahua and then the hearts. And then this three pack of donuts. These llamas. And some pandas. And then unicorns. And honestly, Dollar Tree socks are a great value because at Target, I think for a pair of socks you pay, for one pair you pay $1.50. At least the last time I bought socks at Target, that's how much they were. So I think I got her, what, like 18 pairs of socks for seven bucks, so that's not bad. All right, so we are getting to the end of this haul. So I just have some home and food items to share with you guys. I got this dog wash mitten. So it just has the little rubber things to help grab that hair that sheds. So I got that for them. I needed to restock on my bathroom waste basket bags. So I always buy these in the vanilla scent. And if you are looking for the bathroom bags, just be aware that right next to the smaller size, they sell the really thin kitchen bags. Those are not good. Don't get those. Um, but I use these for my bathrooms. I've been using those for years. And this was a new item from Airwick that I have never seen at the Dollar Tree. These citrus scented stick ups, which I thought was really nice. You could use these at a, in a ton of different places. And it even gives you kind of a guide on the back of where you can use them. So litter box in your bathroom, the back of your trash can. I think these would also be great if you have an RV to put them in there. And I can smell them through the disc and they smell really good. So I was excited about that. I love Dollar Tree's candles, especially the old Williamsburg candles in the little mason jars. I feel like out of all of the candles at Dollar Tree, these have the best throw. So I got three different scents here. I got banana walnut bread, country peach, and cinnamon bun. So here's what they look like. And I feel like all of these scents would be best um, somewhere near your kitchen or in your dining room. The cinnamon bun one, I feel like is definitely a fall scent to me. The country peach reminded me, yes, of the little fruit rings, um, like the little gummy fruit rings. It has the same, the same exact smell to me. And then the banana walnut bread, I'm not smelling banana in it, but it smells really good. I can't describe this one, but oh my God. <laughs> I'm such a dork, like you guys could smell this thing through the camera. Wow, Wendy. But this one doesn't give me banana, like a banana scent, but it does smell like something has just baked in the oven. So I really like old Williamsburg candles. Like I said, I feel like they give the best throw. I picked up two of these Glade air fresheners in Hawaiian Breeze. I love the Hawaiian Breeze scent by Glade. I use these in my bathrooms all the time. I think they're great and they last quite a long time. And 
I needed some trash bags for my outdoor patio garbage bag. And these are the 30 gallon bags with the Febreze scent. So they're scented, which is really nice. And it says on here, this is a bonus, a bonus pack or a bonus box. So you get six in here instead of four. And that is something Dollar Tree is notorious in doing. They will sell the same exact product right next to each other, especially like sponges and cleaning supplies. So always look out for those bonus packs. But I've never seen Dollar Tree put out these plaid um, bags in this size before in the 30 gallon. So I went ahead and picked up two boxes of those. All right, and you guys, the very last items, I hit the jackpot on the cereal this week. I got four boxes of name brand cereal, two in the family size. So I got cinnamon roll fillows and then drumstick mint chocolate. Last week I hauled the drumstick in just like the regular flavor in the family size. These don't expire until October of 2020 and July of 2020, which they will definitely be gone way before that in my house. And then I got just the regular size boxes of Fiber One and Honey. And this one doesn't expire until September of 2020. And then my daughter's gonna love the Mermaid Cereal by General Mills. And this one doesn't expire until July 2020 as well. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, I know it was super chatty, um, but please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And also, if you aren't currently subscribed, I would love to have you here on my channel and be part of the family. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful week. Bye.